Hello Gemini, welcome to a How They Feel About You love reading. We're going to be looking at what your person is currently thinking or feeling about you or about this connection and what are their true intentions towards you. Um, keep in mind that these readings are general Gemini, so they will not resonate with every Gemini watching. So let's jump right in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages, please for Gemini. For Gemini, what messages, guidance do you have for Gemini and love? So this is going to be a reading for those of you that are already in some sort of a connection, okay? For Gemini, what's going on in this connection between Gemini and their person spirit? What's the current energy between Gemini and this other person? What's going on in this connection? Okay, we have the Seven of Pentacles. What's going on for Gemini and this other person? The Emperor, Aries energy. I'm almost getting like um, someone that's wondering if there will be action from this individual here with the Seven of Pentacles. Like I almost picture you, Gemini, kind of wondering if something's gonna happen. Can I get one more? What's going on? In this connection spirit at this time what's going on king of cups cancer pisces scorpio energy so i feel like there's love here and it's almost like someone needs to say it which is weird because with because with the king of cups i don't really necessarily get like messenger energy like the page of cups and knight of cups but i'm getting that with this card almost like this emperor needs to tap into this king of cups energy and express something let's see tell me about this emperor why is the emperor here four of cups why is the emperor here The high priestess yeah i feel like this emperor hasn't spoken or hasn't has kept a secret or has kept something to themselves with the high priestess um bottom of the deck i have the seven of wands so maybe this is someone that's um picturing you resisting or they're resisting something here because these two cards are cards about like blocks like with the four of cups this is someone that's not interested in the cup that's being offered to them. They don't even see it. They're not focused on it. They're not looking up. They're looking down, you know, down at these cups here. Um, and then the Seven of Wands, you know, it's a card about resistance, fighting back, standing firm, standing your ground. And so with the High Priestess here, I'm almost wondering, let's see if we can get a little bit more clarity. If this is someone blocking their intuition, or they're blocked and they can't speak up. What's going on with this Four of Cups and Seven of Wands? What's going on here with the Four of Cups and the Seven of Wands? Page of Wands. Knight of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Strength, Leo energy. A lot of fire here. Why the Page of Wands? I think this is an, the emperor needs to say something. Why the why the page of wands? Yeah, there's the page of cups. That's this emperor energy. Like they need to say something with the page of wands, page of cups. This might even be an apology, and there is the judgment card at the bottom of the deck. So this might be some sort of an apology that someone is making to you or something that they need to tell you. But I don't know if they're wondering if you're going to be resistant to this or if they're resisting what their intuition is trying to tell them to do here. We'll see if I get more when I look at your person's energy. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Eight of Cups, Knight of Swords. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck, Seven of Swords, Three of Wands. Yeah, this is definitely Gemini energy. King of Swords after that, Three of Cups. So Gemini, I'm getting that maybe you've been waiting for this person to walk away from something. 
Maybe this person walked away from you in the past and there hasn't been a lot of communication because with the seven of pentacles, and again, this could be your person's energy as well. The seven of pentacles is a card about like doing the work, putting an effort, but you're not sure of the outcome. There's doubt, right? There's, there's almost like a waiting period that you have to, you're forced to make because you plant the seeds, you water them, and then you have to wait for them to grow. That's kind of how it works with the seven of pentacles. So I'm seeing it both ways. This could be that you're waiting for someone to come forward and talk to you about something here. Talk to you very honestly, make you an offer. But with the seven of swords and the three of wands, it's almost like you're waiting for them to maybe leave a situation or do something a bit sneaky here. Sneak off to talk to you or something like that. Um, this could also be your person that, you know, they need to, um, they probably walked away from you in the past and they have to come forward and communicate and be very strategic about it. I feel like they're maybe they're waiting for the right time if that's the case. We'll see more of that when we look at both of your energies separate. So let's get some insight into how you're both thinking or feeling about each other here. Spirit, give me some insight into Gemini and this person. I'm gonna have you on one side, Gemini, your person on the other. Feel free to flip the energies if they resonate more for you. Spare messages, guidance, please, for Gemini regarding love. What can you tell me about Gemini's energy? Okay, we have parting ways and restoring balance. So there's possibly a separation, a breakup that happened here. Maybe you're very heartbroken about something that happened with this person. Um, but with restoring balance here, it's almost like you're hoping for things to resolve. For there to be balance restored again. Tell me about the person that Gemini is uh, thinking about or dealing with. What are they thinking about Gemini? Or what are their energies? What are this other person's energies? Oh, wow. See, look at this. New beginnings and second chances. I mean, look at that. What are the, what are the chances that both of those cards come together? So they're probably wanting a second chance here, Gemini. Let me see what else I can get here. Tell me more, sir, about Gemini and this other person. Tell me more. Ah. Tell me about Gemini. Tell me about Gemini's spirit. Tell me about Gemini's energies, please. Destiny will help us find each other. So you have hope, Gemini. <clears throat> Tell me about the person that Gemini is dealing with. Tell me about this other person. This deck really wants to talk. <clears throat> Tell me about Gemini's person. I'm really sorry for all of the pain I have caused. Yeah, I feel this person, there's a reason why they want a second chance. Um, because something must have happened here between you, between you and this person. Let me grab one more. Can we get one more energy for Gemini and their person? Tell me about Gemini's energy. Tell me about Gemini's energy. The moth. The moth is drawn to something. Kind of, um, this could be a card about illusions with the moth. Grass is greener on the other side. Attracted to easy solutions, unfinished projects, disappointment. Life is complex. Wishful energy, impulsive energy, whimsical. No matter the illusion, no one's exempt from the trials and tribulations of this great journey. Interesting. So Gemini, I'm getting that there was something here with this connection, perhaps that maybe you were very hopeful and it just, the reality was very different 
almost like there was maybe an illusion with this person like you maybe had rose colored glasses with this person tell me about the person that gemini is dealing with tell me about their energies tell me about their energies towards gemini or this connection The rabbit okay so there's um you know a little bit of anxiety here uh the frog at the bottom of the deck the frog is all about healing let's see the rabbit afraid of everything overwhelmed frozen <laughs> so um fearful energy anxiety um it's almost like this person's scared that they won't be able to heal this or fix this. You know, like, is it too late? That kind of energy. Let's see. What's this? Five of swords. My goodness. Can you give me some more insight into Gemini and their person? Can you give me some more insight, spirit, into Gemini and their person? Tell me about Gemini. Gemini, like I said, you can uh, flip the energies if they resonate better for you. But it won't resonate 100% with everyone. If it does resonate, then let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear if the reading resonated. Tell me about Gemini's energy. The Hermit, Virgo energy. What is going on with Geminis and Virgos? <laughs> I mean, what the Hermit shows up, I swear, in every reading. Tell me more for Gemini, please. Tell me more. I feel like you're in the dark here, Gemini. Nine of Cups. Tell me more about Gemini. I just pictured you, like Geminis are kind of in the dark about something. Which is weird, because it's not really what the Hermit is about. I mean, they're looking for enlightenment. They're, 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 they're um, carrying a lantern, right? But I'm just picturing you kind of in the dark here. Can I get one more for Gemini? But you have a desire with the Knight of Cups. You have a wish here. I get one more for Gemini, please. Ten of Swords. That's definitely Gemini energy, but... It's, it's funny because it's almost like your desire ended. Or your wish came to an end. Or like your wish fulfillment. It just... Something didn't happen here, Gemini. I feel like you separated from the person that you truly wanted to be with. Or are separate from this person. Despite the ending, I feel like you are still... Um, there's a desire here, a passion here for the Knight of Wands. Four of Swords and then the Wheel of Fortune. I'm not going to say anything, Gemini. I cannot take the Wheel of Fortune card out of the deck, okay? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, it just comes up so often here in your uh, readings. It's not a Gemini reading without patience and divine timing. But so far, I don't really see that here. So maybe the tide is turning. I feel like this is more about there might be some things happening behind the scenes that you're not aware of. Um, we'll see. Let me just move my decks here. Let's see what's going on with this hermit. Page of Cups, okay. What's going on with the Hermit? Why is the Hermit here? The Moon. You see what I'm saying? Pisces energy. There's something you're not aware of. You don't know. You're in the dark about something. And there's the Lovers, Gemini energy. It's almost like um, like maybe you're not aware of someone's feelings. Maybe you're not aware of someone's um, want or need of fixing something or, or coming together here. Um, or you're not aware about your emotions or someone else's emotions. And it could be because you're not, you know, in communication. But, you know, I just pictured you in the dark here about something. It's like there needs to be clarity here. Tell me about the Nine of Cups. Tell me about the Knight of Nine of Cups, sorry. The Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Ace of Cups. 
yeah, I feel like this is your person. This is someone that you really love, you really care for. Um, this is your wish fulfillment. Someone that brings you emotional fulfillment. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Get some insight into this Ten of Swords. Eight of Pentacles. Tell me about this Ten of Swords. The Four of Wands. Yeah, I still see you like wanting a happy ending here, wanting to work on things, wanting to put in effort. Maybe you're trying to distract yourself with work or with hobbies, with, um, you know, trying to be busy. Um, but I think in the back of your mind, this Four of Wands, it's almost like, man, that I feel like for a lot of you, this connection had a lot of potential. It possibly could have even led to marriage, but something happened here. We have the High Priestess, Judgment, Queen of Swords. I feel like you know deep down that something's up here, Gemini. Like like Spirit and you are connected, or you, you're seeing a lot of signs, synchronicities, a lot of messages from Spirit, or your intuition is very strong right now. And it's almost like, I don't know, um... It's almost like you're in tune. You're in tune with what's going on. And I think that keeps you here in it to some extent. Like it keeps you in this connection, despite the fact that I don't think there's a lot going on. Because I see you in the dark. Tell me about Gemini's person. Tell me about the person that Gemini is or will be dealing with spirit. The person that Gemini is in a connection with. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to Gemini or this connection? We have the Nine of Swords. There's that fear of that rabbit. We have the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. I feel this is how they see you. You're very powerful, Gemini. You are a vision. <laughs> I don't know what you have going on right now. Maybe you've changed the way that you dress or the way that you do your makeup or the way that you get ready or present yourself. But I feel like this person, like you, you know, they they have eyes on you here or eyes for you here. Tell me more about this person. Seven of Swords. Seven of Cups, the Lovers, the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, it's almost like they're trying to figure out what the strategy needs to be. Um, but they have to be careful because the Seven of Cups, Seven of Swords, to me, when I see these two cards together, I think of the wrong choice because, I mean, it could be that they're trying to be strategic. I'm going to clarify and see. But when I see these two cards kind of together, I'm thinking that maybe another option would have been harder, but more efficient, you know? Whereas when I see these two, I think of someone that's trying to do things the easy way. We'll see. I don't know why I have to clarify this Nine of Swords, but I will. Tell me about the Nine of Swords. Six of Pentacles, yeah, once again, that fear about making things right or fixing things, healing things. I feel like this person is very worried about that. Two of Swords and Undecided, yeah, okay. So they haven't made up their mind or they're stuck here in this fear. This energy of uncertainty and anxiety, um, you know, with the Nine of Swords especially. Very anxious and energy, overthinking or thinking a lot um, to the point where they can't sleep. Tell me about this Queen of Wands. Tell me about the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Why is the Queen of Wands here? Five of Pentacles. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Hmm. Oh boy. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Six of Swords, Ten of Wands. 
Uh, interesting. Bottom of the deck, the Wheel of Fortune again. So when I saw this Five of Pentacles, I thought this person feels so far from you, or at least they don't have to offer you something that you deserve. Um, maybe they're having financial problems. Maybe they lost their job. Maybe they're not as stable as you. Um, I feel like this person has a lot going on with this Ten of Wands, and maybe they're leaving a situation, making a move in their life, a transition in their life, um, moving you know, towards something better here with the, t the Six of Swords. But it's almost like this person feels like maybe they're not at your level or not. It's, it's almost like if they were to come forward, what could they realistically offer you? This person thinks this way. Let me see. Tell me about the Six of Swords. Why is the Six of Swords here? Why is the Six of Swords here? King of Pentacles. Oh, man. Gemini, again with like... <laughs> there's the Emperor. Six of Wands. Okay. Well, you as if you're new to my channel, hi. Um, but if you already have been here before, you know that the King of Pentacles for me as a reader is typically someone that's already in a commitment or has responsibilities, provides for others. Um... This person could be leaving uh, a commitment of some sort, leaving their responsibility. Let me get one more. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Why is the Six of Swords here? Six of Wands, the Emperor, okay. Can I get one more for the Six of Swords? Can I get one more, please? Six of Cups, Page of Pentacles. See, it's almost like when they do come forward, and I feel like this person is going to come forward. There's the Ten of Pentacles, which is another card. Oh, and the Tower. You see what I'm saying? Something, yeah, the world after that. Holy crap. Yeah, okay. So, I feel like this person, if they are married, if they are in a long-term commitment, I feel there's a Tower happening at this time. Um, something I feel is erupting. <laughs> it's like a volcano. And I feel like this is going to affect your person financially. Because when they come forward, it's with Page of Pentacles energy. It's not this King of Pentacles. And it's definitely not this Emperor. I can tell you that right now. This, this is probably where they were. Uh, maybe this is what they had to offer before. Um, I feel like this person is really thinking about making something happen success right the emperor and the six of wands i'm also getting like a battle like this person has been in a battle um obviously i really hope that they haven't been in actual war <laughs> but i'm picturing someone that's gone through something difficult and i feel like they're coming on the other side of that um but you know six of cups six of swords i feel like this is someone that's literally either leaving the past behind we're going to, towards a past person. I see you both ways. Um, but I think really this is the past. For some of you, this person has children. And that is part of the struggle for this person. Maybe that's why they're having such a hit financially. So why the, ten, the Seven of Swords? Okay, hold on. Why the Seven of Swords? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Three of Cups. Why? Oh, no. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Three of Wands. Why is the Seven of Swords here? See, I think this was the wrong choice. Tell me about the Seven of Swords, please. Or maybe they had no, no other choice. Yeah, okay. Seven of Cups again. Thank you, Spirit. Um... <laughs> Gemini. Uh, I, as I've mentioned plenty of times before on Gemini readings, I am only the messenger. Okay? Page of Wands, Two of Pentacles, Strength. Okay. I feel like this person, I think they either, I'm really hoping they had no other choice but to go this route. This route that they're going. This route that they're going is slowing them down. Okay? I feel like maybe they're waiting for something to pan out for them. Maybe, um... Maybe there's delays. Maybe, you know, there's like a waiting here with the Three of Wands. It's almost like someone's waiting for their ship to come in through the dead of night and they can jump on it and go. 
right? But this, there's like, I feel either a delayed reunion, that's looking at it positively, positively. But when I put this card down, I thought this is the other person. This is the other person, especially with the Seven of Swords here, that it's almost like maybe this person put a blockage in your person's path. And so before it would have been a smooth path to go down, but now they have to switch direction. And the Six of Cups is here, which tells me I feel like this is possibly a situation that they've been dealing with from their own past. 